All right. Good morning. So one of uh, you know important topics is the grouping of batteries. Now, in grouping of batteries, you have uh, series uh, grouping. Series grouping is used for getting you know a large amount of uh, voltage, right? If you connect them properly, so you get a large output voltage, the sum of individual battery voltage. And the second arrangement is when you connect the batteries of equal EMF in parallel, right? The purpose of uh, connecting equal EMFs in parallel is to get a lot of current, right? So each branch will give you some current uh, because of that battery and each branch becomes a source of a pump, you know, which is pumping out uh, current, right? So all the currents get added at the junction. So the purpose of connecting batteries equal EMF batteries in parallel is to get more current. Now, there is a situation in which, you know, in numericals, you have, uh, you know, batteries connected in parallel, but they have different magnitude. Now, if you connect batteries of unequal magnitude, there is a MCQ which I have put there, you know, just be very careful. The resultant of uh, all the EMFs is not you know, the EMF of the large battery is not the EMF of the small battery is not the average EMF of uh, the batteries, right? Can be two, can be five. It is something else. There is a complete derivation behind it. Also remember that, you know, from electrical engineering point of view, if you connect the batteries in parallel, it is not recommended. I mean, the batteries of unequal EMF should not be connected. We will discuss this later. But the point I want to make is if you connect batteries of unequal EMF, there is a complete derivation of the equivalent EMF of this system, though this arrangement is not recommended. What is recommended is parallel batteries of equal EMF only. Unequal EMF is not recommended. Thank you very much.